What did you get from your study abroad experience? A better understanding of the world and its different health systems. And I definitely got a better understanding of myself. What was your first impression of London and being Dark, abroad? Dark, gray, rainy. That was my first impression because literally I got off the train, off the tube, and it was pouring rain. And that's what everyone told me it would be like. Did you pack or prepare for that? And do you have any suggestions from your experience there for other travelers? I suggest if you're going to London that you bring rain boots. That was my biggest thing. And a lot of socks because I didn't bring enough socks in Water seeped through my boots a lot. Um, also, a lot of layers because London tends to tends to change um, climate. Like I got there and it was um, really rainy and cold, so I wear sweaters and hoods and stuff. But but by the end when I left, it got really warm, so I ended up wearing um, just having to layer and put on like um, light jackets and such, and it didn't rain as much. Hey, what was your daily routine in London? What really did you do? would wake up and um, do some homework or go to the gym. Because my classes didn't start till midday. Like uh, some of my classes started at five p.m. Um, others started at one thirty p.m. One thirty was my earliest class, so I had like the morning to do what I needed to do. So I would do that. Then walk to class. Always walk because it's not too far and it's good to get your exercise in. Um, then I'd have class, um, and then I'd walk back home, and um, depending on what time it was, or if it was dark or not, or if people were going out, I would go and explore London to different places. I would go to Camden Market, or I would and try to do what something. What was your favorite thing you did in London? I would definitely say visiting the markets. Uh, London has tons of markets to vi uh, visit. Spitalsfield, Camden, Borough, um, Portobello, like, the list goes on. There's a flower market. But as far as the student living situation, how did you feel about that? Um, well, we were put up in Needle, which was really nice. I had a good view of London. Um, I have no real complaints. You had a small bedroom you had to share with your roommates, and then um, you had um, a kitchen that you shared. Um, it was fine for student living. Total, it's really small though, really small. Carter, what and, was your least enjoyable part of the study abroad experience? Uh, yes, it's... Um, an experience for Americans to come to London and um, we through that you don't meet any locals and I just wish I met some locals because I ended up not um, feeling too immersed in the culture as much as I wanted to. Did you go through culture shock? Not as much as I thought I would have. Um, there was a few things like sometimes um, the language or the accents would catch me off guard um, and how like some people would um, interact with you, but it wasn't too bad because, like I said, um, I didn't really hang out with too many locals. It was just during um, my internship and such. But, um, yeah, culture shock wasn't so bad. You just notice different things, but it doesn't really shock you or put you off. Not having um, a place to call home, really, is what... Um, what kind of threw me off, like, when I go to school in D.C., at least I can run home, or I have my community that's based there, but in London, since it was all new, and I was with new people, I would, and everything was new, and not having something that was familiar to me, not even, like, having comfort, stuff like that, kind of threw me off, and it made me homesick at times. What is your uh, favorite part of it? What did you really take away or enjoy about the whole your whole study abroad experience? My favorite part was going to Jamaica, definitely. Because um, what school, school has taught me a lot of things. It's always been um, learning and sitting in lectures and reading books. And then when I got to Jamaica, I was able to actually practice what I was learning. So it was really cool. What would you recommend to future IES students? I would recommend save, 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 because London is extremely expensive. I ended up running out of money, and I thought I saved enough. Um, and when you're there, make sure you budget, write down everything you're buying and how much you need to spend on groceries and this and that. It really helps, especially if you want to do things like travel and such, because I definitely suggest you take opportunity of how close all these different countries are to each other.